Now we're going to look at the surface area of a cylinder. And so here we have a picture of a Coke can, which is, you can assume that it's pretty much a perfect cylinder. I know there's this weird little part going on over here, but you get the idea. It's like a toilet roll. It's got that perfect circular cylindrical shape. How would we find the surface area? So remember we said that surface means the outside. Okay, well, if you had to hold that Coke can and you had to look at the top and the bottom, well, what shapes would you be looking at? Well, well done if you realized you'd be looking at two circles like this. All right, so those would be easy because we know how to calculate the area of a circle. Remember from previous grades, the area of a circle is pi radius squared. And the radius, well, that's this distance from here to the edge, or if you want to use this one from here to the edge. And so there would be two of those circles. And so you could say pi radius squared plus another pi radius squared, or you could just say two pi radius squared. And so we've taken care of the top part and the bottom part. But how are we going to take care of this red part that goes around the circle? What I want you to do is to imagine yourself taking some really sharp scissors and pretend that the, the lid and the bottom have been taken off. Then what you'd do is you'd cut over here, you'd cut through there, and then you would fold that red piece flat on the ground. What shape would you form? Think about that carefully if you had to, if you had to roll it out. Wouldn't you form a rectangle like this? And I know it seems weird, but imagine it. If you had to roll that shape out, this is the kind of shape that you would form. So it looks like when you look at a cylinder, it's actually just a combination of two circles and a rectangle. That rectangle gets folded and it forms the cylindrical shape. So to work out the total surface area, well, we've already got the top and the bottom circle, and that's that part. So now we need to know this part over here for the, for the rectangle. Well, this height over here... That would be the same as the height of the cylinder, right? If that doesn't make sense, just pause and think about it for a bit. But how are we going to work out this length over here? Would you agree with me that that length is, has to wrap all the way around the circle? And so that length is going to be equal to the circumference of the circle. And now the circumference of the circle is 2 pi radius. And then some textbooks will call this over here... So that was rescue. They'll call this the height or the length. And so the total surface area of a cylinder, so I'll call it TSA, meaning total surface area, is going to be equal to 2 pi r squared. Now it's very important that you know where that comes from. Well, that was because of the top circle and the bottom circle. So there's two of them. So we say 2 pi r squared plus this red part, which is a rectangle. And a rectangle is this length, the 2 pi r, multiplied by the height or the length. So I'm just going to say 2 pi r times by height. And so when your teacher shows you that in class, it's very important that you know where each part came from. Because what if I had to give you a Coke can that does not have a lid? Well, then we take away the circle over here. And so this 2 would be taken away so that you only have pi r squared. So you need to be able to know how to modify the formula and teachers won't tell you that in the test. So please, please, please don't just think of these formulas as something that you have to know off by heart. If you just sit a bit and understand where the formula comes from, you'll understand how to use it in a test.